Hey folks, I'm back. Can't get enough of this Slay the Spire Ascension 20 defect. Gotta get into it. Gonna beat that heart someday. Common Relic, choose a rare can be really good, but the curse is bad. But we could do an immediate shop. That's a lot of hallway fights though. Mm. So if we go this way, we could do a campfire, elite campfire. Then we could do some question marks, maybe elite campfire here. Could be pretty good. Um, if we went this way, choosing a rare card is good if it's electrodynamics or um, biased cog. It's not incredible if it's echo form, but we take it, reboot, whatever, seek, good enough. Um, a, basically a couple of them are really good and a lot of them are meh. And the path of the shop, uh, we could do this. Um, elite, but I kind of like going to this early campfire elite after three fights, so let's take a common relic. Bag of marbles, vulnerable to all enemies on turn one. Good, good thing to do. Hmm. <sighs> Not really going to use it this turn, though. I mean, I could play a strike for nine or a zap to deal three each turn. I don't think we kill it this turn. I don't think we kill it next turn. So I think the zap is just at least as good as a nine damage strike, unfortunately. I will do that, though. Get it down to 11. And maybe we kill it this turn. We do. Okay. Took two damage that fight. Not too bad at all. Streamline or Cold Snap? Cold Snap is generally a better card. Streamline will do a lot of damage on turn one with Bag of Marbles. I'm gonna go with a Cold Snap, nevertheless. Uh, upgrade or Remove? Cold Snap upgrade is okay. Oops. I can't cancel it and go back, can I? Okay, we're upgrading Cold Snap. I was thinking of maybe removing a strike, but... Oh well, okay, we could get a curse, we could take a bunch of damage, we could lose max HP. If we want to fight a couple of elites, then losing max HP is the thing to do. Alright. Show me what you got. Good enough. So we'll take two. And we'll take another three. That's a very easy turn, you just have strikes and one defend. Alright, cold snap and defend defend will be a full block here. And finally, there we go. Strike strike. Uh, go for the eyes or an early genetic algorithm? This is a very early genetic algorithm. We just don't have the damage to kill an elite right now, but go for the eyes is also not going to give us that. Okay, um, that thing's gonna gain strength, so that's probably the one we want to harm. And then we can also harm this one. Since we're full blocked with our handy dandy frost orb. So this should be an easy turn. We get our genetic algorithm, and we finish them up. Give me good damage, please. I mean, I'll take another cold snap. But we do just have strikes. Can we kill elites with just strikes, basically? If we go here and we upgrade a cold snap, we have a couple of strike pluses, and they do block, and we can heal right afterwards. This is going to be kind of a tough fight, especially if it's Lagavulin. We'll need lightning orbs if it's Lagavulin, but Gremlin Knob, I think we can maybe survive. Sentries, I think, actually go pretty decent. All right. So every energy that we don't spend on an attack is kind of a bummer. But we got 20 damage done. Alright, cold snap plus. Keep going. Okay. Um, I think we do strike. Strike. We could zap for extra damage, but then we take more. So if we do nothing, it goes down to 24. If we do zap, 
it goes down to 16. Next turn, if we draw two cold snaps, that does it. If we draw two strikes, it doesn't. And if we draw two cold snaps... Hmm... I'd love the genetic algorithm, but I don't want to die. I'd like to keep the lightning orb in front because dual cast. Dual cast is very important here, I think. Because that way, cold, two cold snaps kills because it evokes the lightning. Uh, or a dual cast and a cold snap kills. Or a dual cast and two strikes. So as long as we don't get like defend, 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 strike, strike. We should be in pretty good shape. So I take two damage to stack this. I think that's reasonable to do. Okay, it dies. Good. Cold Snap plus was enough. Uh, Nunchaku, Blessing of the Forge, and... Melter is a bigger attack. Sweeping Beam is AoE that we currently don't have. It's definitely not Skim, and it probably should be something. If we take Melter... I think we're doing another Elite later in the act, and with 32 health, we actually don't super need to heal right away. So, we're going to upgrade at this campfire. So do we want an upgraded Melter to just hit really hard, or an upgraded Sweeping Beam to do a little extra AoE damage? And you can see what I've chosen. You know, we could also upgrade Genetic Alg. I think that's okay here. Give me a good Relic. Darkstone Periapt. When you get a curse, get max HP. Not amazing, but it could be something. Remove a strike into it. Go to another event. Uh, well, this is 6 max HP. The weak is kind of a bummer. But I wonder if the 6 max HP could be decent. The thing is, we'll have one week. We'll have the doubt for an elite fight and a hexaghost, and we are killing these with physical damage, so that could really drag out the fights. All right, we got a lag of Um, we don't have a better hand than this, right? It's vulnerable, so we just do this and this and get this out of the way. It's no better than a defend, and we're not usually excited to play defense in this fight, I don't think. Uh, let's do a sweeping beam. Defend and defend. They're not terrible to play, like, taking six here is fine. I think we upgrade all these damage cards. And we could defend plus for eight block or strike for nine damage. Taking 16 seems pretty bad with 19 health. In the future, we can use a speed potion to keep blocking. And here's another cold snap. Alright, it's kind of unfortunate to draw all of these right now. Okay. Let's... So if we cold snap, that evokes that for 5, so then that's 9 blocks, so we exactly die. So I would like to draw anything except that strike. Good enough. Uh, so, 5, 9, 3... We could use this for 5 health, but we can use it for more than 5 health on a future turn, probably. So this is 14 damage, and that kills. Whew! Close. Tiny chest. Flex potion. Do we need a streamline? We might need a streamline just to hit this thing harder. Take a beam cell. We just kind of need a big source of damage in our deck. Tiny chest, more treasure. Mm. 
I'll give it a chance. Heal me up. Alright, well that's a nice streamline. Uh, we can genetic algorithm later, right? Mm. Yeah, should be no issue. I want to make sure we get a good start to this fight. Alright, they're both attacking, which is unfortunate. If I do this... Huh, it's kind of hard not to kill him here. If I dual cast, one of them dies, the other attacks for 16, and I block for five for seven. Do I want to take 11 damage to try and stack genetic algorithm? No. I do this. And then I do this, and it goes left. Alright, nope, it dies. I figured if it, if the evoke went this way, and I dual casted... You know what, this had 12 health, didn't it? I could have held, had it live another turn, but that wouldn't have helped it. Uh, I don't like white noise here. Do we need it to beat the boss? Yikes, do we need it? Do we want a claw? We don't have any card draw, besides Sweeping Beam. I wonder how often White Noise helps us out here. We're gonna upgrade Streamline. Mm -hmm. I think Claw makes our deck worse, but it might help us kill this thing a little faster since it has so much health. We don't have... This is going to cost zero, but everything else costs energy. Ugh, hate doing it. Let's upgrade a streamline. It's that or upgrade a zap. But we don't know if we're going to get snack away. I think we're going to go into this with the amount of health we're going into it. It's a little risky, but I think it's what we're bound to do. Okay, it attacks for 12. Hey, any block would be nice. We'll use the Flex Potion at some point. Maybe? Mm. I don't really want to draw the Genetic Algorithm this turn. Actually, next turn it's just doing a blocky thing, right? Let's draw some attacks next turn, that way we could fully block here. Nope, it's doing an attacky thing. My bad. Okay, that's a decent amount of block. That streamline is starting to be 20 damage for free, which is nice. Alright. Let's get a zap, and let's get it a little closer to the front. Next turn is a blocky turn, then four is an attacky turn. We're gonna hold on to this genetic algorithm for sure. Then five is a medium attack and six is the big attack. I'm learning. Okay, genetic algorithm and that blocks for 13, 17, back down to 15, take three. Yeah, I don't think we need to use a speed potion for three health. Even if it scares me. Turn on Chaku up to eight. Alright. Uh, I think we got a flex potion here. We need to do as much damage as we possibly can. Because we are in dire straits, so we're just using an on three attacks, I guess. Alright, so can we kill it this turn or do we die? We don't have any block cards. And we die. Alright, that was an act. Let's try again. That was a pretty quick one. Come on, defect. Give me something I like. 
Uh, random rare. Curse for 250 gold, or boss relic swap or potions. There is a pretty early store. Uh, then that goes into campfire or nothing, or elite with no campfire. <sighs> Looks like the elites are later on. So there is a super elite. There's a two elite path up here that could be gone to after a store, or store, then campfire, then campfire, then any of a few elites up here. And this is only one guaranteed fight with the gold. Random rare isn't very good. I don't think this is a boss relic act. Alright, we get pain, which is no good. Especially without love. Just can't get enough. Ugh. Okay, let's defend and... Do I think I can kill it without playing more cards or taking more damage? If I play a zap, I definitely can. If I don't, I'm not sure. I need three strikes to get it. But I'm going to give it a shot because I think it probably does nothing one of these turns. So we really have two turns to kill it. Alright, we got rid of pain and three defense. So we've got good odds of getting some strikes. Ooh, bad, bad luck. We did get the strikes, but we're weak, and we didn't get the zap dual cast we really like. Alright, would have been better to take one damage with pain instead of the damage I took later. Hey, take claw again, but let's take charge battery. Two upgrades and lose health? I'm into it. Even if it's just strikes, it's still decent stuff. Okay, runic capacitor is really good. Doom and Gloom, Cold Snap, Card Room. So this is 247. And then we can get a Doom and Gloom? Yeah, absolutely. Get that pain out of here. And three additional orb slots. Let's go. Very good, Relic. Okay. Perfect. I was hoping for one each. If they both went on one of them, I could have just not done it. Uh, cold Snap, get a Frost Orb. We have five, sorry, six orb slots at the start of each combat now, so we're trying to fill them up as quick as possible. Do we want to go for, like, all the elites we can possibly go for? Two elites with no campfires, or we could go elite, campfire, more elites. I feel like taking some events and a couple of campfires, then maybe one elite later. Mm. We don't have any potions. Yeah, I'll spend money to heal. That lets me spend campfires on upgrades. Thanks, Claret. Doom and Gloom upgrade up to 14. Really good against sentries and hallway fights. Uh, I can't resist the face trader. We got a bad face. Start each combat with one week. Alright. Well, that's a shame. More energy next turn or four damage? I mean, four damage is not a lot of damage. Let's get more energy next turn. Alright, four damage would have been better. But you never know. We could have gotten, like, a Doom and Gloom. Like that. Beam Cell. Ooh, a chill. A chill plus would actually be really nice with all these orb slots we gotta fill up in multi-enemy fights. Ornamental fan. Nice relic. And upgrade city. So that could upgrade cold snap for three damage. Charge battery for three block or chill for bonus uh, frost orbs. I think bonus frost orbs turn one is really nice. I think we can handle a super elite, although the shop is kind of a waste. But I think it's worth getting it out of the way. This chill will be excellent here. So their super elite bonus is extra health. But, as long as we can kill one of them and get fr five frost orbs, we're unstoppable. 
Uh, let's dual cast a, that thingy. Play a defend, play a zap, and play a strike. So we take some hits. We take seven. That's not that bad. Alright, I need my doom and gloom. I got my doom and gloom. Could defend for two, but dealing nine to this seems important. Because as soon as we kill one of these, we can just enter the safety zone. Well, almost. That lightning orb kind of messes it up. This is a little unfortunate, but we only take two. Yeah, lightning orb was not doing what we wanted it to do there. Alright, give me more doom and gloom. More doom and more gloom. Hmm. Work on that. That thing is one strike away. This thing is not too far. 15, 21. And we get blocked for doing it. So we're fully blocked. Actually, let's kill it here. Because we're ornamental fans makes us fully blocked. So... That way we've got two more turns before we got to deal with that. And there we go. Mercury Hourglass. Great Relic. So that's an uncommon. Uncommon. Shop Relic. Okay. Whoops. Uh, Compile Driver or Reinforced Body? I'm very into a Compile Driver here. Can't probably buy much here, but... In fact, we can't buy anything. So we're not getting these. That's fine. Uh, 7 HP, remove our unupgraded st strike. Seems good to me. Give me another good upgrade. Alright, chill plus. Definitely a pl plus and very chill. We always charge batteries, so they're attacking for 20. So if we cold snap and defend, that blocks for another 6. Okay, so that's 11. This makes it 13 block. Do we want to use a weak potion on the jawworm? Or do we want to save it for the guardian? Probably want to save it. Let's try and kill the jawworm first. So we'll take 2. Not really worth using a potion on. Mercury Hourglass is going to do a lot here. Um, strike, Strike, Strike does 24 damage. And our, brings our block to 10. And we have a defend. So let's keep working on our friend here. We could dual cast, but full block seems fine to me. Alright. Good fight. Ball lightning. Very into ball lightning. It fills up the orb slots we have a bunch of. Don't think we need to heal before this fight. So we could upgrade a block card or a damage card. Upgrade a ball lightning or a cold snap. Or a compile driver. Or we could upgrade a charge battery. I think the damage actually comes pretty nicely with this deck. But blocking can be tricky. We do have that chill, though. Mm, often later in the fights, I don't know if I care as much about the damage these do, as much as about the block this, of these, but on the other hand, with Ornamental Fan. So it's down to one of these three things. Which one do we want to give plus three damage? Cold Snap, Compile Driver, or Ball Lightning? The answer is, which one do we play every time we draw it? Probably Cold Snap is the most likely. Mercury Hourglass is going to do a pretty decent amount in this fight, too. Um, let's get the Lightning Orbs in front so they can be evoked. 15, so if we can get through that block, we can deal with this big attack. Alright, um, Doom and Gloom, and then another Zap does it. Or we could Dual Cast and get rid of a Lightning Orb. I think we actually want to get rid of the lightning orbs and fill up on frost orbs. Frost and darkness is a pretty valid way to live your life. 
So we take two. I mean, we take four to block two and block a little more next turn. So we've got seven blocked. We could use a weak potion and it would help next turn against the 16. But I think we'll be okay holding this. Worst case scenario, it does a huge attack we can't block and that makes it fine. So then we're at 13 block now. Get another lightning. So next turn we can block with defend, defend, defend. So we could use a weak potion to block three this turn and we don't need it next turn. I think we're fine. Oh, and we have the charge battery, right. So I think this is worth doing. I'll mm, defend, defend. And I could block one or I could move that dark orb a little closer to the front lines. Get rid of a lightning orb. Split it this turn or chill this turn? We deal six damage, so if we deal another six here, next turn it's blocked, so this leaves it with three. Could have left it with two, I guess, but I don't know if I want to draw stuff. I figure stalling here helps that dark orb really get going. So we could do a big dark orb evoke right now. We're not going to dual cast next turn. Do we want to deal 70, 72 damage, which after the thing is 52 damage? Or do we want to wait and kill it in one shot? 52 plus this 9, so really 61 damage, and 9 more next turn. That's a lot of its health. I think it's worth doing. From here on out, I think we can handle, I think we can block through this, lightning orbs and chill. Uh, take 4 to play a doom and gloom, or do this, just play a ball lightning. Fully blocked, deal 12 damage. Next turn, worst case scenario, we take some hits, but probably not a big issue. We can defend. Uh, cold snap blocks. Alright, so take six. Now we just need a little damage this turn, which we have. So we strike and we doom and gloom. Good guardian fight. Multicast dark orbs. Fission is a lot with Runic Capacitor. Um, multicast Dark Orbs, though? Fission is a lot with Runic Capacitor, though. The question is how good are each of these if we do different things? And I think Fission is still good if we do a different strategy. Multicast is only good if we're doing that, really. Like, it can be okay if we get a lot of energy. You know what? Multicast is good with charge battery as well. Let's do that. Alright. Uh, so we're not getting an energy relic. Transform six cards. Panda box gets a little worse when we've already removed, removed a strike and upgraded two more. Tiny house is pretty rough. I don't want to take Tiny House, so maybe I just remove a strike and a defend. These rewards suck, team. They're not good. I think those strike pluses are still kind of helpful. And if we get rid of all our defends, we're kind of in trouble, even with the chill plus. Let's get rid of a strike and one defend. Not my favorite boss relic to take. Elites. Well, that's a lot of elites if we want to die. Yeah, if we want to die, we can take four elites. We do get a lot of question marks, but we can get question marks this way. <clears throat> Yikes. So that's the only route with a lot of question marks. Let's start here. 
unless we wanted to go this way. This has more question marks, as long as we don't want to go that path. And let's be honest, who wants to go that path? Elite, best case scenario, ton of hallway fights just to get these three question marks. Now this is two bonfires, that's another option. But I think we start here, we maybe check out this elite, or these double campfires, or elite and then a campfire. Let's start this way. Earlier event. I am loving this runic cabastro, I'll tell you that for sure. So we could do 32 damage. Doesn't seem like enough. We could use an energy potion to boost that to uh, 48 damage. Doesn't seem like enough. So I think we're just getting hit here. Alright, that draws a lot of cards. Mm. We could dual cast this, then energy potion to multicast the frost orb. Or we could multicast this, then energy potion to dual cast the frost orb and do something else. I think that's the move. So we're blocked for 17, we could defend, or we could do 9 damage, or we could play a zap. The advantage of playing a zap is that then if we play Ball Lightning and Cold Snap, we can evoke the Frost Orb. We could also defend for 3 block, but that, that doesn't inspire me really, so we'll take 5. Alright, Doom and Gloom does it. I could have totally blocked for three there. Uh, consume? Absolutely. Consume is huge for this deck. Um, lose ma turn two strike pluses into five bites. Lose max HP. How good is that? How much do we like strike plus? How much do we like having some healing? After we empty cage some strikes, it feels really bad. To give away two 9 damage attacks for a bunch of 7 damage attacks, and the healing is nice, but it does make our deck worse, right? Because, like, a bite is a 7 damage attack that heals for 2. Compare that to a cold snap, which is a 9 damage attack, or a 6 damage attack on upgraded that blocks for 2, but the, it can be better if you get... This can be better if you get, like focus those can be better if you're empty on health but losing 22 max hp is a big downside so sorry vampires unfortunately i think it's just not the thing to do right here let's get some frost i could do multi dual cast and then multicast for block Uh, Doom and Gloom seems relevant here. Let's use a weak potion on the back one. So if we cold snap, we get a frost orb and it blocks seven. If we Doom and Gloom, it deals 20 damage. We do have the Mercury Hourglass, which is gonna make it a little more possible to kill these. I'm gonna take a shot at blocking a little harder. Real shame to draw the Doom and Gloom. On a turn where we're not playing it, though. Alright, the consume is nice here. So we're blocked for 12. Charge battery brings us to 19. Which is fully blocked. Then we have to kill it. And one of them's going to run away. So ball lightning makes it easier to kill. But I think the extra energy next turn also helps with that. Alright, that one's running unfortunate. Kind of wanted the other one to run. So we will strike and zap. Okay, we did hit it. Hit it again. Alright, it's a little tough to kill here. 
Not the best odds. So we'll have we would have to get twenty five percent chance that it dies. Have to get lucky with the lightning. So that one escapes with our money. Real bummer. But this one does not. So so that other one took like sixty gold. Power potion and a hologram or another cold snap. We could go to the shop and remove a defend. Replace a defend with a hologram? We could also go to an event though. It's not like we have much money. We would go to the shop if we wanted to go to this elite and then that campfire. We would do this wanted to go to two events. Mm, let's do the shop. Uninspiring. Let's remove a... I think we remove a defend. We'd really love to upgrade consume. Well, some regrets, but this is still two upgrades. Is two upgrades better than a remove at this point? It's often like eight upgrades. Can we just get rid of the last defend? No. I think we're keeping defends at this point. We need something. Let's upgrade them. Too bad we couldn't remove scrape. Okay. Chill. It is your time to shine. Power potion. You are also invited to shine. So we could block the first one, then buffer the second one, then we just take the last one. Yeah. And then just channel one of these. So this one gets blocked, then buffer blocks seven. We we're really counting on Doom and Gloom and Mercury Hourglass to deal the area of effect damage here. Because we're not great at single target damage. Are being attacked for 21, 30 damage this turn. Um, we can survive that. So this is 14, 23, 30. So we're not necessarily going to kill that. But it's worth a shot. Alright, if that lightning orb had hit there, I would have done a ball lightning on it since it didn't. Defend plus is probably the move. Well, hold on, this ball lightning blocks for 5 being attacked for 30. We're currently at 31. So this get us a couple more? No, wait. Ornamental fan. So this actually blocks for more than defend plus. Alright. Ornament, or er, mercury hourglass. Help out. Okay. Well... Consume blocks for six. That's not very much. We have to strike that. And then I guess we just defend on hologram. And that blocks for 13. And then these block for six. So we take six. I mean, I don't love our current health. But it is what it is. Alright, lightning orbs, do me a big favor. This blocks for 29, so if, it, if the lightning orbs don't do it, we're completely dead. That was actually kind of a pointless dual cast. Lightning orbs, 75% chance that you kill this. Please do it. Thank you! I hate being weak, but I'm glad we had the ball lightning. Whew. Easy fight. Little decks, another compile driver. What do we got that's zero cost? Nothing really. I'll get another compile driver. The steam barrier would be okay. All right, Sneko. 
Be nice to us, Sneko. We want a Dark Orb up right in the front. Then we want some Frost, and we want extra energy next turn, or we want extra damage every turn. I think we gotta... We could get bad energy costs next turn, and any turn with bad energy just ends our life. Compile drivers are gonna be great here. Wow. Okay. So then... Hologram block 6, so that brings us to 14. Uh, give me another zero cost compile driver or a zero cost consume. Zero cost compile driver draw three seems really good here. Then one of these. And we're fully blocked, so we could deal nine damage. Or we could get that dark orb to the front. No rush on the dark orb, I think. Alright, that was a good turn. Now we need a good turn every turn. Alright, this is a good turn. Keep them coming. So there's a ball lightning in there. Uh, let's put doom and gloom in our discard. That's good to draw. And I guess we just kill it. Cool! Uh, glacier? With extra orb slots? Absolutely. Uh, definitely gonna rest. Uh, cheaper card removes. What are we even removing at this point? Our strikes and our defense are all upgrades. Upgraded? I mean, cheaper card removes is really nice. But I kind of wonder if maybe we just get a Sapphire Key? I really want to upgrade Consume. Let's go to Doom and Gloom in front. And this. I don't know, maybe I should have played Consume instead of Doom and Gloom, but it's a tough call. Take five. Draw me some cards. Alright. I think now we try and play defensive and multicast. Don't attack too much. 23. Okay, so 6, 4, and then 6 again is 16, and these block for 24. I'm okay with this. They're actually the same amount of block as a frail. So now we get next extra energy next turn. The dark orb continues to grow. Mm. Yeah. Alright, a big multicast could be cool. Charge battery this turn into multicast next turn, I'm hoping. And do a little damage here. Alright, uh, 40 damage four times is going to do it. Good fight. And our health isn't great. We could gain two orb slots, or we could get a recursion for that dark orb. We have so many orb slots. If we had more focus, I would definitely take a capacitor. But since we have a runic capacitor on turn one, I don't know. If we, we could upgrade here and then buy potions. I really want to upgrade the consume. Upgrading the multicast would also be nice. Alright. So we could get a cool headed and a skill potion if we want. I don't think we need bandage up here. Uh 
Uh, we have a cold snap, a chill, and a glacier. We might actually have enough frost orbs. Let's just grab a skill potion. Alright, chill is nice. Get started on the one with the least health. Yeah, it's a good consume, I think. Now we just need to kill them. We're pretty much blocked this turn. So Doom and Gloom is a must. Take three damage to play Strike, or charge battery for extra energy next turn. We need to kill one of them before it starts getting too strong, so let's take three. Alright. Um, we could dual cast. We're blocking for 15, and if we kill one, they're attacking for 22. If we play three attacks, it helps. Alright, so if we play another attack, we'll be at 19 block, or we could defend a fully block. Recursion also fully blocks. Um, what do we need to kill these? If we get a multicast, we're safe for a turn. If we get a glacier, we're safe for a turn. If we get a doom and gloom, it does a lot. I think we're going to let Mercury Hourglass keep ticking away on these friends. Hopefully we can kill one of them this turn. We can. Alright. Good fight. Weak potion and a defrag. Barrage is also really good. But I think the defrag is clutch. Can we do this and live? I really want to. Okay, the last one we fought was Slavers, so it's not Slavers. Slavers are probably the worst for us. Gremlin Leader, we do okay, because we've got time to get stuff set up. Uh, Book of Stabbing, we just need a quick Dark Orb kill, and we got a Weak Potion and a Skill Potion. Alright, it's Gremlin Leader. We got a Chill and a Defrag. And a Glacier. Gain 8 block, channel 2 Frost. So we're blocked for 15, 23, we're being attacked for 23. Alright. I want to both Doom and Gloom and Consume, given the choice between the two. I think I must do what I must do. Since we only have three energy, thanks to Empty Cage. Uh, okay, what are we doing here? Uh, cold Snap blocks for six. We're being attacked for 33. So if we Cold Snapped and then Hologrammed... We had also Hologram Glacier. Hologram Glacier is huge. Blocks for 14 plus 12 is 26. And then we get five of these. is another 15 for 41. Yeah, we could do that. If we just... So 15. If we just cold snap, that's 21. And then if we do this, that's 27. So we could also hologram another cold snap instead of a glacier. And we do damage that way. And we fully block. Yeah, that's even better. We also charge battery for energy next turn, but I like moving this a little closer to the front. Exact full block. Mm. Do we even want lightning orbs? Not really. I guess I'll take one here. The block is nice, but we have to kill it. Plus, that's a good thing to consume. Like that. So now our block goes from 12 to 24 for free. With that in mind, let's... Knock this one down a peg. 
we still got our weak potion, we've still got our skill potion, so if we can slowly clear these things out... Let's get a skill here. Uh, auto shields? Seems good. So 12 block. We gotta do this, right? So we could recursion and then dual cast. And that either kills this one or kills that. Or we could dual cast to block and then recursion and 50% chance kill that. I prefer, like, chance of kill this alt outright. So we're being attacked for 48. If we recursion, that's 9 block plus 24. It's 33. Plus that is 51. So... Either this thing dies, or this thing... Wait, 37 times 2 is 74. So this thing could totally live, and that would suck. Hold on, we're blocked for 54. And we're being attacked for 58? That wouldn't even be that bad. Okay. I'm, I'm fine losing our Dork Orb and leaving that at 38. I think we can kill it with other things. Uh, ball Lightning and a Doom and Gloom is a good start. Having four Focus and five Orb Slots does a lot. Okay, we took the fight with very little health, and it worked out okay. Fossilized Helix is going to be really nice. Uh, equilibrium or uh, Upgraded Charge Battery? We could also take a recycle. We've got all these compile drivers, so we could start drawing real quick. I like a charge battery, and I really, really, really want to upgrade Defragment. So how are we fighting this champ? I think the answer is we have to have one huge Dark Orb that we mega multicast to kill it in one big shot, so we just need to get enough frost to stall it out, so we don't play any of our lightning stuff. I think I think upgrading the defrag might actually help us live. Because it'll gain strength slowly, but we, just, we have a fossilized helix, that helps a lot. Alright, so... This is going to seem weird, but I'm going to use a weak potion to block one damage, because I want to keep that buffer stack. Alright, so no more lightning orbs, just frost orbs. We could get back an upgraded charge battery. get this out of the way. Another full block successful. Now give me a glacier. Consume is a plus for sure. I need card draw. Consume and glacier would be clutch, but consume, cold snap, defend plus will do a lot. Cool. We could recursion to put the Dark Orb in front, so that we can recursion it more. So one Glacier fills us up now. This is fine. Alright, if we get our Glacier and our Defrag, I think we're in good shape now. So now what we do is we hit the button. Um, we think about whether it's good for us to play Consume again. So this is 4 times 7 is 28, 3 times 10 is 30, so it is good for us to play Consume. Let's see if we can draw it. Alright, and our Dark Orb will, draw, will grow faster. Alright, we're blocked. So right now our Dark Orb would deal 150 damage. Do we want to recursion it? Then we can channel more frost orbs. Hmm. 
Yeah. I think defrag is actually going to do more to help us survive. The defrag upgrade might help us survive better than a uh, heal would have. Alright, let's move that back towards the front. Get a bunch of extra energy so we can play many, many compile drivers. So 2 times 13 is 26, and this Dark Orb is big enough. We could Recursion again. So that would do 80 damage. So that would bring it down from basically 340 to 260. On the other hand, if we multicast right now, it does 240. We're not multicasting next turn. So let's say we multicast two turns from now for 128, and then three times that will kill it. So I think we just need to draw some cards. Play a strike and not the rest. So this turn we do nothing. We'll hologram a charge battery if we're feeling frisky. Okay. Play a strike, because there's no reason not to. And now, as soon as we draw a multicast, we win the fight. Like that. Good champ fight. Glad we took multicast. Fission would not have done that for us. That said, uh, we don't need another multicast, then I might take a Fission. Which is pretty fine. Hyperbeam is cool in some fights. But I don't think we want it. Let's take a Fission, because it's pretty good when we upgrade it. I mean, a multicast, two multicasts are interesting with Chemical X. They're interesting if upgraded. They're not upgraded. I think an upgraded Fission helps us out. Okay, energy is not allowed this run. We could get uh, energy in Boston Elite Combats. Frozen core. If you end your turn with any empty orb slots, channel one frost. So if we ended our so for our current build of just frost and dark orbs, this is actually really clutch. We could transform and upgrade three. Um, I guess we'd get rid of our strike pluses. Energy is great, but I think cracked core, frozen core is actually going to be good here. So now we want more focus and we want more orb slots. We already fought the super elite. Couple of elites here. Elites here. I like these early events, so let's start out here. That said, uh, it might be correct to do some fights so that we do... Mm -hmm. Those cool favorite card rewards that get us the things that good. We dual cast and then multi cast. That locks for 10, and then another 10, and that's 22. Getting rid of our frost orbs is a little sad, but we're gonna get them back here. So we actually block for 24. So the frost orb comes back before the frost orbs are triggered. That's good to know. If we consume and cold snap, this blocks for 12, and then Fossilized Helix blocks the other. No, it blocks for 15. So these are 10, and then it's 15 because this fills up. And then it's 20. So, yeah, this is a good plan. So, defrag and... Alright, so this thing is going to explode for 30 damage, but we should be fine. So now we need a single lightning orb. Uh, it's 20 damage to attack them. We have a buffer stack, though. Why not? Speed it up a bit. Alright. Hmm. 
<sighs> I don't know why I did that, but it was fun. Uh, kind of a late genetic algorithm. But it's upgraded. We could also do a fusion. Which is really nice with multicast, but we don't have anything to turn that energy into except maybe a compile driver and mega combo? Or genetic algorithm, which I like. Uh, lose glacier, lose defrag, lose compile driver. Wow, these suck. These are all things that we don't want to lose. I guess we lose a compile. Lose a Glacier? Because we have Frozen Core? I mean, Glacier is really good, though. I think we lose a Compile Driver, even though it's really good, but it's easier to get back. So we can do two Elites here. We could do two Elites here, and that's a better path overall. Unless we just love events, but there's events this way. Uh, yeah, I'll fight for a Rare Relic. Fossilized Helix is pretty good in this fight. Consume. So we're already blocked for 15, thanks to this. Are we ever going to block for 27? This adds another 8, so we're blocked for 23. We could use a potion here. These enemies are kind of scary. Okay, so we're blocked for 21, about to be 26. They're attacking for 27. So this is actually a perfect genetic algorithm. We get to keep our buffer stack, which is going to be good, because these things start doing scary hits. Like this one. This 21. Um, we could just charge battery and defragment. That blocks for 8, and then we get 7 times 4 is 28. Here's what we do. Oh no, the burn! So I was thinking if we defragment, then these block for 7 times 3 is 21, which fully blocks that, and then buffer gets that. But the burn messes it up, and then we take 16. If we defragment and charge battery and zap, that doesn't happen, but it's hard to kill these without doom and gloom, isn't it? We could multicast a lightning orb, maybe. And with 5 focus, like, these lightning orbs do a decent amount. Alright, we gotta kill something. This is rough. Looks like we're working on this one. <sighs> Hologram a... Doom and Gloom? that or just get a cold snap again and then we block for 28 uh, 38 and we're being attacked for 47 no we get a, we block for 44 uh, we lose two to this we actually block for 46 so we do some extra block that way but we don't do any damage we could do a ball lightning that gets a seven less block but eight more damage I think we gotta do it. Alright, bring on the pain. Alright, fishing. Alright. So this. Oh my god, it's not upgraded. This doesn't evoke them, it just removes them. Oh, that's no good. We don't have a way to multicast a lightning orb. That's pain. So five cards and five energy, though. I think we still got to do it. So we could do a glacier and then do a frost orb six times. That's an option. If we always do a glacier, 
Uh, we can probably draw some cards to kill that. No luck. Okay, that's a problem. Charge battery multicast for 40? Well, recursion is better. Use of an energy. And then... Do what we can here. Okay, so we're at 29. This would bring us to 59. Then we would go to another 14, so 73. Then down to 69 block. Nice. That's actually more than we need. We're being attacked for 57. So we can do another strike here. Frozen core. Frozen core saving our butts. Alright, um, that seems like a must. We could hologram, let me see, if we just consume, we're actually fully blocked this turn. It does have 20 strength, which is a lot of strength. What would we want back, though? Hologram a cold snap? Hologram a charge battery? Consume seems like a necessity. Alright, we just have to kill it somehow. Damage. Things that do damage. We take them. Alright, easy fight. A lot of scary moments, but we got our rare relic. Tori, we didn't take that much damage. Take another recursion. Recursion just kind of helps us move around a dark orb. We don't necessarily need more than one card that does that. Let's go shopping. So we could get two skill upgrades. We could get an extra copy of something. I don't know what we want an extra copy of. Skill upgrades. Actually, skill upgrades. Let's think about it. It can't be defense. So it's zap, dual cast, charge battery. They're all okay upgrades. Don't super love these two, but they're okay. Then multicast, good. Glacier, good. Recursion, okay. Fission, great. So two skill upgrades has pretty decent odds of being something we really like. Heat sinks. We only have one power in our deck, so I'm going to say no on that. I think let's try our luck with the skill upgrades. Zap and dual cast, probably the two least relevant. No, actually dual cast is gonna be very good with frozen core. Cause a lot of times we have all our orb slots full and a zero cost dual cast just says we can always get rid of one. I don't know how we're gonna kill Donu Deca, but it's probably just big dark orbs. Are we gonna go to another shop to sack? Nope. Uh, buy a potion? Buy a potion. Ooh. It's so good. We can't remove it until the next act, but it's so good. But it absolutely ruins fossilized helix. Let's upgrade a fission. Remove versus evoke is a huge difference. So we use the tools of the forge. But we don't benefit from their power. Okay, giant head. Uh, we have to get a big dark orb to kill it. So let's draw that doom and gloom soon, huh? We could also do lots of lightning orbs. Lightning orbs it is. Okay, we got a doom and gloom. Uh, hologram a dual cast. Or hologram a zap. We've got a couple extra turns, and we got a glacier coming up. So let's keep the lightning damage going. Okay. 
Okay, now we can Glacier. We could also Fission and then Glacier. Fission is kind of a sad Dark Orb. I feel like we need a big Dark Orb. We could Glacier, Cold Snap, and then next turn we could evoke the Dark Orb, but the Dark Orb doesn't do anything next turn. We've only had this Dark Orb for one turn. So then this will draw 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can get a genetic algorithm out of the way. So that's a start. We can get another consume going. Uh, then we can just do a big frost or a blocking strategy. We can actually permanently block this thing out, I think. So consume. Glacier. Uh, another one of these, will f those will fully block. So we can just do this. Alright, we got our plan. We channel a couple of frost orbs. We block through other means. Uh, this amuses me. Evoke our front orb zero times. Oh wait, that doesn't... That doesn't get rid of it? I thought that got rid of it. We also still have a buffer stack, so it's totally fine if this fight goes long. 2 for 13 versus 3 at 10 says to me that we don't consume. Uh, we can do this just for fun. That fills up, does a little extra damage. Cool. That does not quite fully block, does it? I don't want to use our buffer stack just yet. Let's use it next turn. So, 54. Yikes, that doesn't do it either, does it? Do I want to draw three cards? It is an elite fight. Okay. And we're getting pretty close to multicast territory. Definitely seems like buffer stack. So then we just need to draw multicast. We have five energy this turn, so if we draw it this turn, it's good enough. Uh, recursion, glacier, cold snap. Keep our buffer stack, and we could have actually totally not used that potion, but I wanted to be sure. Because see here, we might actually be glad to have the buffer stack. A little bit. See, it blocks 7 damage. Alright. Big hits. Add a card when you rest. Lose a focus for strength and dexterity. No thank you. Recycle. I wish we had another compile driver. I do kind of like a recycle here. Take an upgrade on recursion upgrade or multicast. Multicast, generally if we're doing it, we're doing it on the dark orb, but if it costs zero, we can do it on like frost orbs. Recursion for zero. Or recycle. To shrink our deck fast here. These are all kind of energy upgrades. Let's do this one. Alright, we're up to Mancer. Give me the Doom and Gloom. Awesome. I am the chill. I wish we had an Electrodynamics. 
but this will be all right. So that's eight, and then another eight is 16. So we'll lose our buffer stack if we don't do this. I think our buffer stack is worth more than 12 block. So even though it's weird to do that for two health, we've done it. Uh, glowing hourglass is gonna help a lot. Um, if I hologram back my doom and gloom, I can get a lot done here. Uh, Cause I'm gonna do a big fishing turn. We're gonna go fishing. Okay. Goodbye, all those cards. Hello, all my new cards. So, we got a multicast option. Let's get rid of a s strike or a defend. Let's get rid of the defend. So we're fully blocked already. No reason to do that. All right, now we start rebuilding. We start doing consumes and all these fun things. Let's draw a card. I'll take a zap. Throw in a genetic algorithm now or later in the fight. I don't know if I want to draw this instead of my other things. Let's get rid of it. It's not currently good, but next fight it's 11 and it starts to be good. Glacier Defend blocks for 17 plus 20, which is 37. So then this takes the buffer and we take 9. But if we're just trying to have this take the buffer, we don't need to Glacier at all. So let's kill that back one if we can. Yeah, so this takes the buffer and we take zero. That thing dies to Hourglass next turn. Thank you, buffer. All right, big stuff, big stuff happening. Mm, well, we got four cards. And the missing one is probably Strike. So if we charge Battery and Recursion, that's 7, 18, and then these block for another 16. So we're fully blocked. So if that's the case, we can dual cast this one. And we are also more than fully blocked because dual cast gives us an extra frost orb there. Mm. Get that in front, hopefully get a nice multicast next turn. Okay, if we just zap, that hits, that kills something. Hologram zap, get another one of those. Or we could hologram charge battery. How much are we being hit for? 21 and 33 is blocked. And then this blocks another six. And zap blocks another three. So we're pretty well blocked, but I think if we charge battery, we don't take any more damage for the rest of the fight. Because look at the poor thing, it has no health. Mm. Let's cold snap, let's consume that, then we can dual cast that. And it didn't matter to maximize damage, but I wanted to try anyway. The boot and white noise 
Eh. I mean, there are some powers that are really good, but any random power? I don't know about that. Alright, we've already taken a blue key. Data disc, one focus each combat. Beautiful. Into it. Big fan. So that's a big plus. Good fight for a chill. Cold snap, the one that's gonna buff itself. Twelve. 15, 21, against 23, so that's a block, that's a block to me, okay, we need more card draw, we need another compile driver, we need card draw really badly, because we have a lot of zero cost cards, and we have Recycle to gain energy, and we have Charge Rider to gain energy, and we just don't have ways to turn our energy into cards played. Hmm, <clears throat> okay. Shit, it's probably Doom and Gloom, right? We always dual, dual cast a Frost Orb. Okay. So we block 15, 35. So that blocks these two. Because they deal 31, then this thing breaks the buffer and deals 9. Or if we zap, we block for 3 less. So we block for. 15, 35, no, sorry, we walk for 32, then this thing still breaks the buffer. So the map is free, basically. We're just having a frost orb or a lightning orb in the t next turn. Alright. Um, I should have really looked at what they were doing and made a plan. But dual cast is kind of always good now. It just turns a frost orb into another frost orb. So now we're definitely blocked. This one's not blocking itself, so maybe we'll get working on it. Like, I like to kill the one with the most strength, but our lightning arms have chosen this one for death. Alright, we got our genetic elg. That thing's pretty easy to kill. Mm, play this. If we just consume, we block for 24, 35. Nah, we gotta kill. Draw 5. We got room to draw 5. We're gonna do this first. Evoke an extra lightning. Alright, then we can recycle a glacier, and then we can hologram a recycle, and recycle a consume, then with 8 energy we can deal 11, we can deal 88 damage to this poor thing. So that's what we could do a lot of the time if we have more card draw, I don't know if we need cards that just draw themselves though, we need cards that draw other cards. Like draw one card, but you have to put this card in your deck, I don't know. Give me an elite. Giant head is pretty okay with me. Put a ball lightning in there. Leave the ball, leave the lightning orb in the front. Yeah, okay.
Mm, 3 times 13 versus 4 times 10 was the math, right? So 39 or 40, but this grows faster. Let's hologram or recycle. Let's just shrink our deck down. Okay. So we'll get rid of a zap. We're never doing that again. Let's put in a... I guess the Doom and Gloom just goes in the front. That's fine. The Dynatic Algorithm could still be useful. Okay. We could have played some more defense, done a little extra damage with the uh, Doom and Gloom. But I think we've pretty much solved this fight. We solved it last time. Wait, no, we do need to play Consume an extra time. Okay, so 8 block and then 33 here. Oh, it was 3 times 10 is better than 2 times 13. That's what the math was that I was thinking of. Uh, we don't need Doom and Gloom anymore. Uh, 33. Pretty good genetic algorithm. Uh, it takes a few more evokes than that. Let's get rid of this. Play that. We got another buffer stack. Let's keep it healthy. Uh... I'd like a recursion. Hologramma Compile Driver often gets it. But if we just charge battery, defend... We're at 33, so we need another 17. So we charge battery. And this perfectly blocks. And we'll just exhaust a ball lightning. Play those. Our deck gets a little smaller every time. Do a little damage for free. Dual cast. Hologram a recursion. And do a little damage. So this is one away from the front, but it hits like a truck. Okay, draw me some cards. All right, so this turn I could recycle Glacier. Cold snap multicast. Multicast for three would be 78 times three is not enough. So we'll keep blocking. Thirty-three, forty-seven. I guess I could have done a multicast on a frost orb too. Hmm. So eight, twenty-two. It's thirty-three, fifty-five. We don't need the Glacier anymore. Okay, we keep the thingy. Now our multicast starts to look like something. Buffer stack intact. We get a Lizard Tail, nice defense. Double energy is cool, but we don't have card draw. Scrape is cool, but we don't have zero cost cards that we really care about. And we have a lot of non-zero cost cards that we don't want to discard, unless we want to discard them for a hologram. But that seems like kind of a wasted effort. Upgrade city. We could also recall. We don't really have any great upgrades. So do we want an extra card or an event? We could still get Mind Bloom. Madness. Goodbye, 4 max HP, isn't it? I don't know, with Recycle, we have some good stuff to make zero cost, but we don't have card draw. And we like that HP. Alright, bad event. So remove an artifact charge that we don't care about, or don't do that. Alright, so multicast or recursion for zero? Recursion had been a pretty good card. Usually once we... I've found that like, 
how good multicast is is mostly about how good the dark orb is it's not it hasn't so far really been about is the multicast good if we played it one more time or is it just oh wait the dark orb one more turn that's what i've found has been the most helpful thing oh nice i got a couple of upvotes on some comments on the slay the spire subreddit i'm beautiful and famous and popular All right, let's put a zap in front. Get a chill. We could just consume and charge battery. Then we block for 18. Yeah, that full blocks. Thanks to Frozen Core. I've been leaving this here just thinking for dual cast. Ooh, or we could. Okay, it's attacking for 30. That's not actually hard for us to block. So we'll dual cast, dual cast the Lightning Orb to do extra damage. Charge Battery and Glacier. Eh, would have liked to draw cards. This is a little more than we need. If we could find another Capacitor, we could get a lot of focus and we'd be in business. But we have not found that. That's a must. I'm down to get a little lightning in there. Well, we just we have three energy, so we just play all our hand each turn. Our boss relics. Man. Empty cage. And What did we even take? We started with frozen core. Then we took empty cage and What was our second boss relic? What did we take? We didn't not take a boss relic after Act 2. No, sorry. We took Frozen Core after Act 1 and that replaced our initial one. Then we took Empty Cage Act 2. No, the other way around. But the point is Frozen Core is our other boss relic. I was like, we didn't just not take a boss relic, right? Mm. We could multicast that for a decent amount, but I think it's just important to get that in front and get it started. Um, recycle that. You know what? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should have played the ball lightning first so I could multicast that and then... Um, play the Doom and Gloom again? I could play an extra Doom and Gloom. Probably good to play an extra Recycle. I mean, I would totally play a Strike here, but I'm not gonna. Do I want a Ball Lightning, or do I want these all to be Frost Orbs? I think I know the answer to that. some focus. Uh, we block for 22, so genetic algorithm protects a buffer stack here, and we'll recursion, because why not? Cool. We can't Glacier and Cold Snap, but if we just Glacier, that blocks for 14, uh, 22, and then we get another 22 blocks, so that fully blocks. So let's see if we get something better here. Cold Snap Defend does the same thing, but also does damage, right? Nope, it doesn't evoke. Okay. We got a couple of charge batteries here, so that'll help. And they keep gaining strength every two turns. So 42 coming in. So that's not an issue for us at the moment. Just keep that growing. Next turn we have five energy. 
So we could do 300 damage randomly. So let me see. If it hits either of them four... So it's going to hit five times. If it hits either of them four times, they die. But on average, it hits one of them twice and one of them three times. So that leaves them at like 120 and... Okay, this is at 219. So 63 times 3, 189. So that leaves that at 20 health. One of them at 20 health and one of them at 80 health. 100 health. Or one of them dead. The alternative is to draw some cards, keep thin thinning our deck, try and wait another turn, and then doing it f by then, like, if we wait two turns, like, three times 90 is nearly as much as five times 60, and we get an extra multiplication out of it here, and then we get to block. I think that's the move. And we get to block for quite a bit, actually. So now we're just going to try and live until the next time we draw multicast. Doesn't quite block, does it? Yes, it does. We have an empty slot. Okay, cool. Alright, we keep our buffer stack. We've got decent odds of drawing it next turn. So if we charge battery, hologram charge battery, that blocks for 16, 22, and then 55. If we're being attacked for 54, that's perfect. And if we're lucky, we'll get to use that double charge battery for a huge multicast next turn. Gimme, gimme, gimme. No luck, but we can recursion it. And that's something. Put that back in front, full block, yes please. Now if we just do it three times with a multicast, it'll do it. So I think we've won the fight. Alright. Yep, yep. Good donut fight. Kept our buffer stack. Uh, this Dark Orb is a fun one. Okay. Genetic algorithm doing good work or offering to do good work, we do... This could just be a buffer stack. X to energy next turn, or don't. Okay, if we multicast, that's just 12 block. If we charge battery in that, that's 31 block. And one of these... Yeah, okay, keep the buffer. Okay. Consume. Cold snap. We fully block. Now we just need to get a dark orb and play another consume and our defragment and we win. Shout out to Frozen Core letting us get a bunch of frost orbs without playing cards. We could also do it with a lightning orb, but that splits it and it does a big attack. Alright, so its biggest attacks are 24 and 32. We block for 32 every turn, so we win. Good fight. Nope. Nope. I only play Glacier. One Glacier, two Glacier, three Multicast. We never even flip it the first time. Okay, actually it can grow faster if we do this. Eight times four or 11 times three. Slight edge and then the Dark Orb big. Okay. 
Alright, 11 cards played. Oh, it made us vulnerable. It's actually gonna attack us? That's rude. Okay, we have to play cards. How about that one? Seems like a good card. Yeah, that's what I thought. It only... It doesn't make us vulnerable very often. Alright, 3 times 129 is not enough. Yikes, it's actually going to harm us. Alright, this is what the buffer stack is for. Maybe we start playing these. So when we're vulnerable, it can harm us. Uh, it has gained strength. Eh, annoying. Let's get these out of the deck. Ah, uh, so so close to a perfect time meter fight. Uh, 11 times 3 or 14 times 2. 11 times 3 is better. At this point, a multicast kills it, and pretty soon a dual cast will also kill it. But recursion allows us to block if it, more if it makes it vulnerable, but it's not making us vulnerable. This turn? It might do it next turn, but it's not doing it right now. Blocking. Uh, we could charge battery for a big finish next turn if we get lucky. Oh, the block does make us vulnerable. Uh, draw my card. That's rude. And I don't like it when you're rude. We could just evoke it to deal 200 damage, but that seems subpar. 33, 41. We could just take 10 and then feel confident that we're going to kill it. Because if we fully block, then we have to do this whole thing again, but it has more strength and it's actually difficult. So let's take 10. No perfect time eater fight for us. Thank you. There we go. So that's a couple less HP going in the next act. But we heal most of it up. And we have beaten Ascension 20 with Defect. Now we just want to beat the heart. Uh, upgrade multicast to kill faster? Or get nine more HP. I think an extra multicast proc is good. Because then we can cast it for zero on frost orbs. Loop. Loop good. Artifact potion and loop. We can buy them. Artifact potion for the initial vulnerable of the heart. Bag of preparation also good. Loot more goodful. This is gonna be a tough heart fight. We we've got a cool thing going with that dark heart, but you saw how many turns it takes to really do a lot of damage. I'm gonna face it this way. Give me the stuff. Dual cast, multicast, and compile driver are all a little awkward if we have no orbs. Thanks, fission. Well, looks like our buffer stack goes to the spire spear. Bit of a shame. Yikes. 
We're facing the wrong direction and we're drawing the burns. Yikes. We only have three energy in this deck. Yikes. Well, we've, we're dead. We lost. No, we have a lizard tail. Okay. I was thinking of saving and quitting the fight and coming back to start it over. But if we have a lizard tail, let's try again. But that was a big faux pas. That was not the thing to do. Mm. We can block for 38. And now we can get that Dark Orb looping. This is gonna hurt. Programming. Trinetic algorithm? Consume, we're being attacked for 48. So we could just do 18, 17, um, 23, 51, and recycle a burn. I kind of like that. Full block, get a nasty curse out of our deck. Alright, uh, 4 times 76, so it hits twice here and that kills it, it hits twice here and that does not kill it, but, aha, we upgraded it, so it's 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, alright, a little extra max health, I uh, don't think explosive potion is going to do it, and card drop, <laughs> is it the best card we could have possibly hoped for? No, that would have been probably Bias Cognition, but it's something. Alright, play the Glacier first so that we can play other things. Play a Chill. Do we want to channel a Lightning Orb? Yes. Do we want to keep a Defend? Uh, I should drink the Strength Potion. No. Don't be vulnerable next turn. There's no other way our deck benefits from this potion, right? Yes. Alright, no more defend. Forty-five. Any chance of blocking forty-five? It is the buffer stack. Okay. Buffer stack! Okay. So that's 30. We can block 30. No need to fish them yet. How are we going to deal damage to this thing? Give us a little block. I hate to do it, but I think we need lightning orbs. We could, so we could consume here, or we could do a multicast, or hot take. We could deal 24 damage and get a frost orb for next turn's attack. Yeah, I like both. 60 damage, but with Tori, even if that gets through that block, it's not that bad. Oh, 
Okay. Let me take a couple damage. Shout out to Torai. Do we have to give this up? It's kind of rough if we do, isn't it? Dang, having that in front is kind of a problem, huh? It sucks drawing hologram on with literally zero cards in your discard. I guess that's a problem of having a... Well, no, we have a 25 card deck, but then something's exhaust and then the boss adds things. And our deck isn't like an even... It's 24 cards right now. This is just bad luck. Actually, no, you know what? It was guaranteed because we had a 25 card deck on our first draw through and the boss shuffled five things into our discard pile. So it was 30. So after six turns, we would draw through that. No, but we have card draw. Did we use any of it? Save the Dark Orb or save the Dramatic Elg? The thing is, that can only do 200 damage. I don't know what we're going to do this fight. So 40. Okay, block 47. But I don't know how we're going to deal 656 damage. Like, we can't do it with 40 damage Dark Orbs. I guess we can't have the Dark Orbs at the front. It just doesn't work. Okay, give me a couple of those. Give me one of those. Give me one of those. Maybe I should be playing stuff like this, but I think I'm getting rid of it. Okay, 6 times 15 is 90 damage, and that's no joke. That's 55 block. Uh, and then we can fish him. And get another 33 for 88. But then if we keep giving up our Dark Orbs, we are truly lost. Okay. I mean, we're fully blocked, but at what cost? How are we going to deal... F Mercury Hourglass, I love you, but I don't think you are going to kill the heart on your own. You need help. Do you have friends? I wish you had friends. <sighs> 120 damage coming in. Anything we can do about that? Alright, cool. Don't worry, gang. Everything's fine. That was the heart's last attack. It's not going to get any stronger. We're done. We have some lovely defense going on, but I regret to inform you that is it. That's all we got. We can't even draw cards to do damage this turn. It's just pain. We'll have a lot of energy to not multicast next turn.
Zap, do some damage. Alright, so 300 damage. We blocked for 120 damage pretty well. Think we can block for 300? Ooh, we can do 36 damage like this. That sounds fun. Torai. What if it was whenever I receive 20 or less unblocked attack damage? Do you think you could help with that? No? Alright. We did our darndest, but we built a deck that could not defeat the heart, and throughout Act 3 and 4, we didn't really get offered any cards that could defeat the heart. But you know what? We tried. I guess. Rest in peace.